We're gonna start the cutting for our Rustic Christmas album. It's a really cute album. Can't wait for you guys to see it all finished. It is a lot of work with the cutting of the paper, but if we do it together, we should be pretty good. We're gonna need out your trimmer. Always a good trimmer it would be good. Make sure you check your blade and that it's nice and sharp and that it's not fraying the edges. Get your scissors out. We're gonna be doing a little bit of fussy cutting and we're also gonna be using it for scoring. Um, quarter inch hole punch. This is the hole punch that I suggest. I really like this hole punch and it cuts through chipboard, shows you the insert here. It has different depths that you can set it for and it locks up nice and small. So the We Are Memories hole punch is one of my favorites. Once you have your hole punch out, you're also gonna need a one and a half inch circle. We're gonna be making some pockets and they want you cutting that one and a half inch circle. So let's go ahead and set that out too. With this, we wanna get our paper kind of in order to how we're using it. So make sure, I believe mine is upside down at the moment. Get your paper together. It was in order in the bag. So if you left it in the bag in order and if you pulled it out, you should be good. Your six by eight pad. I want you to go through the six by eight pad and I want you to tear them all out and get together the um, two papers that are exactly the same. And that'll be a, a lot of help later on when we start to cut these. Keep them in order, that's super important. But if you get them out and you cut them apart and get the doubles together, that would be really nice. So we're gonna start with the 12 by 12. And our first piece is the under the tree. I'm gonna set everything else aside just so I can get myself some room and <clears throat> keep stuff really organized. Since there is so much paper that you're gonna be cutting, it is really important that you keep it all organized. So I'm grabbing out my trimmer. And one of the things that the instructions tells us is that we need to keep the barcodes for everything. You're gonna be using some of this pattern paper here throughout the album. And I want you to keep every single thing, even if it shows on the instructions that we didn't use it, you keep it just in case we decide to change something along the way or you want to add that piece. So for the bar, for cutting the barcodes off, anytime I'm doing cutting, I measure. So I'm gonna take it right to the 12. So let's talk about your trimmer for a second. Now this is a nice edge, but it is not the edge that you use to keep this paper straight. You have to make sure this edge here is what you're using to keep that paper. If you use the um, ruler part, it's never straight. This ruler has way too much flex and pull. Anytime you can pull something out like that, it's not gonna be as accurate. So we only take it to the line. That is a big thing too. Anytime I'm doing my cutting, I don't go over the line. I take it to the actual cut line and that's where I cut. Even though the five inches, you know, it's kind of showing all over there, I take it right to that black line and that's it. And my cutting is precise every single time. So I'm gonna take it to the 12, cut off the barcode. Do not go through and cut off these barcodes until uh, you are ready to cut the whole sheet of paper because then you'll not know which one's which. And if you don't have the written, the printed and colored instructions, it'll be harder to do. So the trees are very directional. So when I start making my cuts, I'm gonna make sure I keep turning it so that the direction is the same that it shows on um, the, cut, the cutting instructions. So I cut my skew off and now I wanna take four inches off the top. So that's gonna be my first cut is to flip it around, take it to the four, set the set one aside, don't mess with that, and then we're going to take it to the 11. And actually it wants you to cut an inch off from this side, and I wanna keep it exactly the way they tell me to do. So that's what I'm gonna do first, is take an inch off from that right-hand side, and we're keeping this. And then I'm gonna take it to the 11 and I'm gonna confirm that that's a really good thing, you know, cut. And sometimes I just take off little slips. Now we're gonna take this piece of paper and it is gonna be turned around so that we can score it at the eight inches. So turn it around, find the eight, and then go ahead and make that score with your scissors. We're gonna be creating a little pocket with this once we go to do it. Be gentle with those scissors, don't push too hard, and then you're going to fold up on this one. So that is our little pocket that we're going to be creating, and this part is done. You can set it aside with your little one-inch piece. 
And we have left over this, which is 12 by eight. And the only thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna score this at the six and a half. So we want six and a half this way, so I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna take it to the six and a half. Gentle score, fold forward. There we go. Oh, you know what I didn't do with this and I'm, I really like doing is taking my new Nuvo thing and giving it a good push since I'm not using a bone folder. So we're gonna do that actually on all of them. Flatten it out. That's perfect. This is gonna be a pocket inside your book that opens up and it's gonna be really fun. And now we need to make sure that we score or we put holes, I'm sorry, we gotta put holes in this, but not on this side. It's actually gonna be like that. So we're gonna fold it forward like that and we're gonna put holes right here, okay? With your album, you gotta get out a page protector, which I didn't do, so you know what, let me grab one. So I got myself a page protector and now I'm ready to punch the hole in this one right here. So I'm gonna center it on this page protector. So it has about a quarter of an inch on each side that it's off, and then you wanna be right to the edges. And once I've got that, I'm gonna grab my hole punch. Oh, it's locked, open it up. I'm gonna find the hole right here, and then go ahead and punch it. And then I'm gonna do the other side. Line it up, don't move it though. If you move it, readjust. And then slide it right in there. And once you have that done, this paper is all set. So we should have three pieces plus the skew for this piece of paper. So that's everything that you need. And you're gonna set that aside and move on to the next sheet, which is wrapped with care. And the Wrapped With Care is going to have red plaid on one side, and then it's going to have the Santas and the music notes and things on the other. It looks reminds me of older wrapping paper. So once you have this one out, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut that skew off, take it to the 12, keep your skew, and then I wanna make a four inch cut off of the top, so I'm gonna turn this around. Let's set the biggest piece aside for the moment and get these ones taken care of. Looking at this, it wants me to cut six inches here. So I'm gonna cut that off by turning it around. Make sure you're keeping everything directional. As I turn, you turn. There we go. There's our four by six. And then we're gonna be cutting five inches, or not five inches, I'm sorry, two and a half inches off of the top. So two and a half inches. And then this piece right here, we're gonna cut to five. And then this is a bit of a scrap that we don't use, but just hang on to everything just in case. And these two we're just gonna cut in half at three inches. So three, just checking my measurement by three. Top portion is good. And now we're gonna work on this one. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna cut it um, at eight, we're gonna cut it at six inches, sorry, it's eight inches long by six inches. So we're gonna turn it to the side. Cut it by six. And we're gonna score it on the four. So I'm gonna take it to the four. I'm gonna score with my scissors gently. And then I'm just folding it in half with my score. Flatten it out. And then that should be good. And I do believe like some of these, it might be that way, but you know, that's no big deal right now. None of this matters until we get to the actual assembly part, as long as we've got the score and we've got it ready to go. So then I've got the rest of the piece 
And I'm going to take four inches off of this side here. So I want to turn it around. And that is it for this one. And then I need a two by four. And I'm just gonna check that both of them are two by four, even no part of it, it says I don't need, so it is. So this one is done. Let's pick up all your pieces, set it aside into a separate pile. And this will be our wrapped with care pile, cause that's the name of the paper. And our next one is gonna be the Simply Vintage Magic, which is the red Santa. So that is gonna be this guy right here. And there's lots of cutting on this, but what are we gonna start with? We're gonna start with getting rid of that skew. And then I want to cut five inches from this left-hand side. So I'm gonna flip it around. and cut the five. I'm gonna cut one inch off of the top. So this is the top. And I'm gonna hold on to that. And then from here, I want to cut four and a half inches down or six and a quarter up. So I'm just gonna do the six and a quarter, just like that or six and a half, I'm sorry, six and a half up. Hmm, pay attention. So six and a half up or four and a half down. Doesn't matter which one you wanna do, just cut. And now we're gonna take these two pieces and we're gonna score. So we're gonna put a quarter inch score at the top of this. And we're gonna fold this down. And this is gonna be one piece of this and I don't remember if I see the Santa. I think the Santa's on the inside, which is nice. And then on this one, we're gonna score a quarter inch from the bottom. So a quarter inch from the bottom. That is important. You don't wanna do the top because I know how this is gonna open and it will make a huge difference. So yeah, Santa looks like it's upside down. And what's gonna happen is when you put it into a book, your scores are gonna be at the top and the bottom. And then you're gonna open it up and there, voila. And then you're gonna open up this side and there you go. And that's really nice because when you flip it, the Santas will be the right direction. So let's make sure that we push these down and give them a nice crisp edge. And then we can set them aside. Now I should have seven inches by 12 left over and we're gonna cut a seven by seven square. So there's my seven inches and then I'm going to score it at the five. So I'm gonna flip this around, take it to the five and score. And then that gets folded onto itself. And there we go. And I do believe in the instructions, this is a mistake, but this is how I did mine. In the instructions, it shows it like this, but I'm not putting Santa upside down. So we are gonna leave it the way that I did it. I know that it looks good because I've already been there. I've already done it. So with this piece right here, we're going to put um, two hole punches. So let's grab our page protector, line it up, and you've got probably about an inch on each side. And then an inch on this side. That's good. That's all we need to do for this one right now. That's all the cutting instructions are. And then I've got this piece left over, which is pretty simple. I'm gonna take two inches off the top And then I should have a three by seven piece. And yeah, that's pretty good. Look, see how it's right next to the thing. And these are good. We can go ahead and put this all together in a pile for this pattern. And then we're gonna move on to Jolly Good Side. And that has the big red Santa along the edge. And it has the black 
background with the gray Santas on the other side. Now, again, for this one, let's cut that skew off. And then this one's pretty important. We don't wanna mess this guy up because I believe we use him in the book as just a page. Um, so I wanna cut five and a half inches this way. So I'm gonna turn it around and cut five and a half inches. Set this one aside. I'm gonna take two inches off the top. Okay. And then I want eight inches, which is, you know, pretty much the whole Santa. And then I should have two inches left. And those are your pieces here. And then we're going to go ahead and punch our holes on this side for the Santa. So center it up, line it up with the edge. Don't let it move. Okay, perfect. Now this is what we've got left and we're gonna cut six and a half inches down. It should be eight inches or, no, I'm sorry. Should be six and a half inches, I'm sorry. Six and a half inches, and it is, there we go, by eight. So this is our top portion. Let's take it to the eight. We're gonna punch holes on this side. Got about a eh, quarter inch, a little less, a little more on holes. There we go. And this piece right here is should be six by four, so it wants you to trim a little bit off of this side. So I'm gonna take it to the six. Takes off a half inch. It says we don't need this, but we're gonna hang on to everything. Pick up your pieces, set them aside with your skew. And we're gonna grab our journal elements. Now the journal elements is a pretty simple one. We're cutting almost, well, we are cutting everything apart and then we're just um, putting a, oops, what am I doing? We're putting a um, fold in one element, this one here. So take it to the 12, take off that skew and just continue to start cutting them apart. So I'm gonna start with the longer lines just because everything is straight. And I'm not measuring here, I'm just using my trimmer and making sure I can slightly see the edge a little bit of the next cut. And we can just keep cutting all apart. This is a no brainer. This is the piece that we're gonna put a um, little crease in. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna take the top, and we're gonna put it at the one on our trimmer. James is wondering, do you leave all of your prop lights on at the end of the night? Or no, turn them off? no. All right, and then we fold this forward. There we go. And our last piece to cut apart. Good and good. Oh, we got one more piece, sorry. Not our last piece. All right, that's it. So here is this. We're gonna keep our skew, keep all the pieces together, and that's your journal, journal element side. Next one that we're gonna need is gonna be our elements three or four by four. So that's this here. So let's get rid of that skew. All 
most of this is going to get cut apart, but um, there is lots of stuff to do. So let's not, you know, don't go ahead. We're going to cut off this top section first and we're going to line it up just with the crease. We're not going to worry about measuring. And then we're going to cut off the red point setup. And this is going to get a fussy cut. So we're going to set that aside. This one right here is going to be cut just apart. So that is done. And then this guy, we're going to need to put a quarter inch crease because it's going to be a flip up in the elbow. So take it to your trimmer, take it to that quarter inch. And then go ahead and fold it down. Flatten it out with a bone folder or something heavy. And then let's go ahead and fussy cut together. So this guy is gonna get fussy cutted and we're going to leave a bit of an edge. And if you have ever seen me cut anything, see how my scissors, that I don't do this type of motion. I leave my scissors pretty much open and I do a very slow kind of cut. And these are not the sharpest scissors. Let me grab, these are my scissors that I use for gluing on the gems and things. So let me just pull out a better pair of scissors if I can find them here in this nightmare. Hmm. Well, I might not have anything handy at the moment, so I'm getting ready to go away for a weekend. Ah, and I've been packing some things up. So here's a better pair of scissors, but I've also been using these and they've got a lot of glue. So let's just see if we can get them to work for us a little bit better. So again, I don't do a lot of motion with the scissors. I move all my paper, that's how I'm getting all my turns. And I'm just trying to follow along the edge. Real slow, real smooth, until I run out of cut area. Let's cut that one off. And I don't want to get real close to the edges on here because um, most of the fussy cutting that we see has a little bit of an edge. It's not right to anything. So that's why I just, you know, left that this way because it looks like everything else that we're going to be putting into this book. So that's our fussy cut for that. And these three pieces are done. We can set them to the side. We're going to cut apart right here. Okay, and then these two are gonna stay connected. And I want to put a crease in the middle right here. This is gonna make a really cute little mini album inside your book. And then we're gonna fold it together and flatten it out. And that's going to be everything we do for right now. This one is gonna get a quarter inch because it's also gonna make a little mini book. So put it on the quarter inch mark. And I want you to fold it forward. It's Sunday here <laughs> at home. And yeah, you can hear all the peanut gallery in the background. Sorry about that. So let's cut apart our <laughs> Merry Christmas and our Christmas wishes. And the holiday one, we're actually gonna put as a little pocket. So we're gonna pull out that one and a half inch punch. And you need to center it up, make sure you know, you've got the same amount of space here and there. And it's a circle. So it doesn't matter how far in you go, as long as you've got the same amount of space, it's gonna be pretty even. And that's it. We've got our little pocket. These ones are also part of the little book that folds open. So they need a quarter inch score right here. And then we're gonna fold them forward, flatten it out. Okay. 
Okay, same thing, fold forward, flatten it out. And then these pieces are all set. There isn't anything left to do with this. So put them together and set it aside. All right, next is our three by four element card sheet. And I've got that right here. And a lot of it's just gonna get cut apart, but there is a few things um, that we're gonna do different. Some of it is scored and that's pretty much it. So to the 12 inches, take off that skew and cut them all apart. So since I know everything has to be just cut apart, just gonna start with my long lines. I want you to leave this one out because we're going to score it at a quarter inch. So top portion is going to get scored. There we go. That one's gonna get scored, so leave it out. We're gonna score at the top a quarter inch. Okay, here we go. And these are good. Keep your skew, keep them together. And then you can set that pile aside too. So the last 12 by 12 sheet you have is your element sheet. And we're gonna cut off that skew first. And then we're gonna cut our first row, our second row, and then these guys stay together. So let's make a little score line Fold it in half, lining them up. There we go. That looks good. We've got our really cute Hello Santa. And we're going to go ahead and we're gonna punch a one and a half inch circle um, right here. And then we're gonna do the quarter inch circles on the side. Now why it doesn't want you to glue it together first, I don't know, um, because that would be the logical thing to do. So we are going to glue it together. I didn't tell you to put, it, put out tape, but take a moment and let's grab your tape that you do this, because it just makes sense. Why punch holes? Um, if you're not going to have it just finished and glued together. So I want you to grab out your roll of tape and open it up and we're gonna do the inside left, right to the edge. Oops. There we go. Take that tape off. The other side, take it off. And then go ahead and do the bottom. Okay. Put that away, we're gonna be done for the moment. There might be another one throughout this cutting that I tell you to do that with now that I'm thinking about it. So there we go, fold it down. And careful with what you're doing, make sure it's lined up. Look at mine, not very lined up. So line it up. And then fold it out. I don't mind that it has that little bit of a, a bend to it because I, it's a pocket, that's what it needs. But I do have a little adhesive that I'm gonna get rid of on the edge. Clean everything up, very precise. There we go, good, good, good. 
And I wanna put my hole punch here, or my one and a half inch punch. There we go. And then I'm gonna do the quarter inch holes here. So let's grab that page protector out, line it up. It'll have like a half inch from edge to edge. Good. And there is our little pocket. Now, anytime I do these, I always open them up like that. And this one's a perfect pocket. We can set that aside for a moment, grab our trimmer back, and now we're gonna cut these apart. Grab everything together, including your skew, and set that right aside. Now we're gonna pull out our six by eight paper pads, which I have in front of me here. And work on the next step. So with that, the first one here is going to be, may your days be merry and bright. And we're gonna need both of those. So everything together. We're gonna cut one inch off of the bottom. So one inch off of the bottom, this will be used for something else. And it's also gonna end up being a pocket eventually. But with this one here, this was one of the ones where I really got lucky because it tells you to punch that hole in the top and the quarter inch holes. <laughs> but I have, to, I have to do that to a whole nother one. So as far as I'm concerned, this should get glued together first. So we are gonna leave this alone until we come to that piece. And that's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to take this, I want you to just set it aside. And then this is the only piece for that one. Here we go with this, it's gonna be a four by six piece, and I know we're cutting right into the words, but it's part of the design that we'll be using. So cut it apart, and then that is it for this one. The red holly with the birds, we are only gonna cut one piece, and we're gonna cut it to four by six. And I like to check mine just to see. Yeah, there's a little bit you can trim off and it just makes a difference. So this is our four by six, we can set it aside. The other one is gonna stay a 12 by 12. So that's done, set that aside. You should, or not a 12 by 12, I'm sorry, a six by eight. Set your six by eights in a pile, set your cut ones in a pile just as we go. Then we have our six by eight um, plaid red with the red and white point set us. And we're gonna cut one inch off of the left. So I'm looking at it, I'm turning it around, even though those, those point set us don't seem very directional, but just in case. One inch by eight. And then I need to take one um, inch off the top like this. Oh, that was a half inch. <laughs> Don't do that. We want one inch. So let me just take off another half inch. Okay. And on this piece too, they should have been stayed together just like that. And we turn this and we cut a one and a quarter. So it's really small. One and a quarter is like this. And then like this. And then what you do with this piece is turn it into a flag. I'm just gonna tape this together just so you can see, but I don't even believe I did this in um, the book. And maybe I won't tape it together because I'm not, oh, there it is. Okay. I'll have to remember where this piece is and see if I did it. Okay, there we go. And once you have that one and a quarter by one, it just wants you to make a little flag, just like this. And honestly, I don't believe I even use this in the book, but I'm not sure, so save everything, hang on to it, just in case. This piece is done. 
And then red plaid with white point setters, we're gonna cut the other piece also. And the other piece is just gonna be cut into a four by six. Okay, so a four by six there. Now we've got our Believe in the Magic. And one of them is gonna stay a six by eight, so just put it in a pile, all done. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna do a fussy cut, but we wanna get it three by eight. So we're gonna cut three inches this way. And this gets cut in half, so it's gonna end up being a three by four. So cut it at the four. Check the measurement. That's good. Set that aside. And let's go ahead and do our fussy cutting here so we can just kind of see how we do that again. So again, I'm gonna like go around all the edges so we keep a lot of the, um, the design elements to this. So I'm only gonna be cutting on the white and grayish green colors. And I'm gonna leave about a 16th to an eighth of an inch all the way around. So make sure you're turning your paper and giving yourself a little bit of, that was probably too much, design or movement. Okay. that off. Start again. That one's a little close, but you know, that's all right. Just as long as it's got that real smooth cut, because we're going to ink it. And try to move the paper with the crazy edges. Okay, a little bit left because I want you to do a, underneath that or on that back side of that leaf and then along that red plaid. Okay, there's our fussy cut. That's all we're going to do and then we'll end up inking it and putting it inside one of the books. My next two pieces are going to be the pine six by eights and we're going to cut both of these so we need them both out. I'm going to take my first cut and I'm going to cut five inches off the bottom and that's done, set it aside. Then I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna take a, and cut five and a half inches. So I flip the trees around and I'm keeping that one by, or I'm keeping that half inch by three, so that is saved. This is gonna be a pocket that is right in the center. So use your one and a half inch hole punch and put it the best that you can right in the center. That's cute. Set it aside. Trees are directional. We're going to take four inches off the top. And then we're going to take four inches off of the right hand side. Done, done. And this one is going to be a one by four. So one inch is there. I'm going to turn this around and see how close I am to the one to see if I wanna take any off. Mm, nope, it's right at, well, hang on there, let me see. No, it's right at the edge, not worth messing with it. So those pieces are good. And now we're on to the next one, which is going to be the, um, the, let me pull up here, the red Santas with the holly berries on the other side. Oh good, we're at the spot where we need this one. So find that, because you need this. And we're gonna cut seven inches, or let's just cut an inch off the bottom. So an inch off the bottom is what we're gonna do. And then we need this, so keep it and set it aside. 
And then these are going to go together like this. And you know what? I need to figure out if the Hollies are showing or if the Red Santas are showing. So I'm gonna take a pause. I'm gonna confirm that before I go any further and then we'll come back and need our um, adhesive and our hole punch uh, to get everything put together. Okay, ladies, so I know what side it is. It's gonna be like that. So we're gonna have the Hollies on one side and we're gonna have May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. Now I've already assembled this album. I'm just doing the cutting instructions separate. So I know that um, when you come across my original video, if you followed this 100%, you'll have this part done, but I actually do it with you in the original video. So we're gonna take and we're gonna put adhesive around the two sides and the bottom for this. And I definitely wanna use the bigger roll since this is such a big pocket. So I'm gonna use the half inch adhesive on both sides. Cut with your Teflon scissors. This stuff is super sticky. Go ahead and pull off the two sides. If you have a hard time like me getting these off, use your scissors. Let's do the bottom. I can never pull them off. There we go, good deal. Set that one aside, grab this piece, lay it very perfectly right on top. As perfect as you can be. And you can see I'm a little off, so close, but no cigar. We're gonna go ahead and trim that. It's okay if you're off, nobody will know. As long as you give it a good trim. Go all the way down. I know it's a sliver, but when you have adhesive right there, you want to get rid of it. Perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And that looks good. And now we're going to punch our holes in here together. And they're gonna get on the side of the bright, my, bright or merry and bright, la la la. I've got tongue twisters today for sure. Grab your quarter inch hole punch. You're gonna have about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter right there. Don't move it. Line it up. Good, good. Now don't forget, I said a lot of you are already gonna have this, you know, in the you'll have it done when you get to the instruction that shows you how to do this part. You're just gonna move on and ignore it. So put your hole punch in, not your hole punch, your half one and a half inch punch. Make sure it's even on the sides and give it a nice punch. And then I always like to kind of push them down and then open up. the pocket. Make sure you always open up your pockets, you know, go into the corners, that type of thing. So it's easier when you actually start to load stuff. Good, good. That looks really good. All right, now we need our trimmer back and we're gonna take on this other side. We're gonna cut two and a quarter from the right. So two and a quarter, that's done. And then we're gonna take three and off of the bottom. So three inches, and we should have five inches left over. And there we go. Set that aside. 
And we have, these are so pretty. I love how they use these in the book too. Um, so on this one right here, we're going to take off with our wishing you reindeer is what it says, but wishing you peace and joy. We're going to take one and a half inches off of this side. So turn it around, put it on the one and a half. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to score the, the right side. So put it back in the trimmer and I want you to score a quarter inch. Gentle with the scissors and you're gonna fold it under. And this is gonna make a really pretty page. All right, once you did that, let's get, oop, oop, oop. Hang on a second, I just messed up my score by being a little too heavy handed. There we go. Oh, did I just do it again? Gee whiz, I don't know why I'm having such a problem today. All right, so there it is, and then it's gonna fold open just like that. This will be glued down, and then that will fold open. This two pieces are done. You can set those in a pile and grab the next one because we're gonna cut both. Um, or no, we're not gonna cut both. This one actually is gonna stay as it is. Wishing you reindeer, we only do one, so set that one away. The ephemera with the red gingham, we're going to only cut one, so set one up, and go ahead and take this one and put it in your trimmer where it doesn't matter top or bottom, but four inches by six is what we need. And then we need one and a half inches off the side. And then this should be four and a half right here. And it's, look at that, really close, that's great. Close enough not to have to trim. Now we've got Santa Claus is coming to town. We're gonna cut in half. So we're gonna take it to the four inches and that's it because we're gonna be using those two sides. This one we keep whole, we're gonna use it right as it is. And then we've got the poinsettias and we're gonna be cutting both of these. The first one we're gonna cut into a four by six and then we're gonna cut it into a three by four. So take it to the three because it's already four inches. Let's test this one, and that's good too. We're gonna do the same thing. Take it right to the four, or <laughs> take it right to the three, and cut. Check your measurements. This is done, set those aside. And this red point set out, we're gonna score at three and three quarters from the top. So three and three quarters, put it in your trimmer. Make sure you got Santa's on the other side. These are directional. So make sure you have them facing that way. And we're gonna take it to the three and three quarters and we're going to score. Press down and then give it a nice push. Set them aside. We have our element cards. This element card we're gonna do at we're gonna, four inches and we're gonna keep these two together and set that aside. And then these two we're gonna cut apart. So again, on these we're not measuring, we're just cutting at the lines where they intersect. And then this one here, it says that you don't have to um, cut it, but I actually did use these. So we're gonna cut this one also. And we'll set those in there. And then the remaining papers on here, uh, it says the remaining six by eight papers are used as a base and the three by four cards to fill up the three by four pockets. So we're, it doesn't tell us to cut these apart, um, but 
and we're not going to. So let's not cut them apart and we'll talk about that um, later on as you start the assembly. So that is it for all of your cutting. Now it's about getting organized. So get organized by putting all the three by four pieces together. Um, go ahead and get everything inked. Now, when I did this, I pulled out my ink and I looked at the instructions and I would find each piece and put it into an envelope that I need. And I could see at that time if I needed to ink both sides or just one. So that might be really helpful. Um, sometimes when I'm doing these albums, I'm just sitting in front of the TV. It's a mundane kind of experience where I just start inking everything. And that's okay too. You won't need everything, but you know, at least it's done and it's ready to go when you start to assemble. If you want to, you know, skip to assembly, you definitely can. Uh, go ahead and you can ink and assemble as you're going. You'll just take these videos and you'll be pausing as you need to ink and things like that while um, you know you get caught up to that point and then moving the videos ahead. Okay, ladies, I hope this was a pretty easy, simple tutorial on how to put those papers, um, cut them out. And next up is your assembly, which is a lot of pieces. So try to keep yourself organized. I cannot stress that enough.